Child support can take all that? Yes, 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 they can. Hey, everybody, it's Shamika. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. I appreciate your support. Also, hit that notification bell so that you can be kept abreast of my most current content. So I had to do this video on, on child support because, one, every time I talk about child support, there are always a lot of comments where individuals are upset um, because of their own personal situation. And uh, sorry, that has nothing to do with me. But I did want to talk about it because we're getting ready to um, hopefully come to a decision on the second stimulus package and i wanted you guys to know that it is going to mirror the same uh, stimulus package we had the first time with the heroes act when it comes to or as when it pertains to child support and um federal debts so if you owe more than $2,500 on child support, then you can rest assured that your uh, stimulus check will be taken. If you are the spouse of an individual who had their stimulus taken, their stimulus check taken, or shall I say your household stimulus check taken, then you can go on Google and type in um, IRS injured spouse form, and that's injured, I-N-J-U-R-E-D, injured spouse form, and you fill out that form, you're gonna take some information from your uh, W-2 and his W-2, and that's just gonna show the IRS who made the money, who put in what, and uh, they will do their due diligence to do the calculation and send you your portion of the refund, okay? Uh, or shall I say your portion of the stimulus check. So back to child support, um, there are both federal and state ramifications if child support is not taken care of. And I really didn't think that it was this deep or this serious, but it is. And I wanted to just um, bring this about um, just for GP, just for knowledge, really. So, uh, okay, so let's talk about the consequences that go along with if you don't pay um, child support at a state level, okay? So we all know that they suspend your license. That's usually like number one thing that happens. Um, but did you know that that license can also be um, a job related license? So uh, if you are, uh, if you run a business, um, your business license can be suspended. Uh, if you are a dancer, um, a lot of times those, um, the city gives you a, a little, Depends on your city, it's not every place, but they usually give you those little dance or occupational license and girls usually wear them on the ankles. That can be suspended if you owe back, back child support. Uh, recreational licenses, hunting license, fishing license. Uh, let me go back to job related. Um, if you're a, a real estate agent, uh, if you have um, certain trade licenses that you have, your professional certifications or licenses that you have gotten through your state, those can be suspended if you don't pay your child support. Uh, we already know about driver's license, but I did want to add in the additional license that a lot of people may not be aware of. They also can seize your bank accounts. The states can go after and seize your bank accounts. Um, the only time they cannot take the money from your bank account is if it's someone else's money or if it is money that comes from another federal program, like if you're a veteran and you get disability or if you um, receive social security benefits, they can't take that, but they can seize your bank account and take all of the monies that, um, that they are due uh, unless you get on some type of uh, um, agreement or arrangement um, to pay this back. Now, a lot of these things that I am mentioning are going to be very extreme situations, but these are just things that a lot of people did not know that um, can affect you if you just refuse to pay or don't get on some type of child support um, agreement, okay? So if you have any money that is in unclaimed property, so if you happen to go to these uh, websites where they can search to see if you have any money for, um, if you live in Florida, it's called um, fltreasurehunt.gov. You can go there, you put your name in, and you'll see if there's any lost money. There's websites like missingmoney.com. You can go there, put your name in, uh, you can look yourself up by state. Uh, if you lived in different states, you can search yourself in a, a several different states. And if you find yourself, all it's going to do is tell you to click a button. It'll take you to your state's um, revenue site and you will go um, and try to, to um, collect those funds that the state is holding for you. So uh, if it's found that you have money or any type of property in your name, they can seize that. 
They can also put a lien on your property. So if you have a home, you got anything worth value, they can put a lien to seize to get you to either force you to re repay or get into an agreement or they're going to take it for the actual amount that you owe. They can take your state tax refund, okay? Your unemployment benefits. They can absolutely tap into the unemployment benefits. And the reason why I'm mentioning these and I'm separating them by state and federal is because um, we don't realize the difference or why there is a difference. And I'll get to that when I get on the federal side, but there is a huge difference in uh, what they can do and why they do it. All right. Workers' compensation benefits. That's another state benefit that they can take. Uh, we already mentioned your driver's license. Um, mentioned your business license and your professional trade license. Ah, if you have an insurance settlement, if they can come after your insurance settlement for child support. Uh, if you have any state pensions, so if you're a teacher getting ready to retire or, um, uh, you know, anything working probably with your state education or if you're a city or government employee, they can come after that because that is all funded by state funds. So they can do that. If you have any lottery or casino winnings, if you win anything over a um, thousand dollars they can come after you to take that money all right so um that's just on the state side we haven't even got on the federal side so why did i mention um federal why is because well as you can see with the stimulus that's federal that's um uh, a program called the tax refund offset program and the tax refund offset program that is pretty much just an agreement you know, or the, the federal agencies pretty much got a, a, or the IRS, shall I say, they got a green light to withhold um, or offset your refund for any debts that you owe to um, IRS. So if you owe anything to Department of Treasury, they're going to take your refund. A lot of people don't get their refund now, but they're also feeling that effect when they were waiting for their stimulus check and they didn't get that either, okay? But that falls under the tax refund offset program. But did you know there's also a treasury offset program? So um, the treasury offset program, it is Okay, where all of the agencies, I got my notes here, sorry. So you got IRS, you got um, HHS, which is Health and Human Services, you got DOS, which is Department of State, you got SSA, which is um, Social Security Administration, you got the VA, that's Veterans Administration, um, oh gosh, there's more, uh, DOJ, Department of Justice, you got HUD, Housing and Urban Development, you got Agriculture, and um, I think I said Department of Education already, but all of these um, departments got together and they, signed and said we're going to um come up with this treasury offset program and what that is is if you owe any of these agencies instead of having the money taken at a state level they can't because they're federal they actually had to create their own process to find out how their how they were going to recoup funds from you so um if you don't owe child support right why does the federal government get involved? Well, if you owe child support, the federal government gets involved because the federal government is more than likely paying the support for your child that is not being taken care of through um, food stamps, through WIC, through Medicaid, through all of those things. So the government wants their money back. That's why they come after you, the consumer, to get that. That's why they put these things on your credit report because they are forcing you to, like I said, pay it back in full or get in some type of agreement um, to pay your, your debts so that they can get their money. So in actuality, the federal government is acting like a debt collector, right? And I read the United States Code and this um, Treasury Offset Program gives them the, the right to pretty much become a debt collector and or they can take your debts and sell your debts to a private debt collector company to come after you. So if you in, um, are an individual that owes student loans, you'll notice that you won't see that the Department of Education is pursuing you. You may see that you have a private debt collection company that is suing you. And those collection companies, they have contracts with the government um, and you know they, they pick from this list of collectors and they just use them and they come after you and they add on their fees. And so now you're gonna owe what you already owe to the federal government plus additional fees. So I always stress to people um, that if you know that you're falling behind work it out with the agency before they sell the debt and they usually sell this debt when it's uncollectible which is 180 days um 
that's when you leave yourself open for debts to be sold. But if you can work it out with the agency, it's best because it's going to be cheaper and they would prefer to keep the debt in house versus selling it to somebody else. Remember, they want to be paid and when it's sold outside, they still have to be paid, but you kind of lose, um, you kind of lose your game in the, well, how do I say that? You, you, you kind of lose yourself in the fight because you're not in the process anymore. You've kind of been removed from it and now you've given it over to someone else. So now you have to depend on them and their motivation to track the person down to pay the debt. So they would prefer to do it in-house, okay? Um, another thing uh, that, um, child support can prevent you from having and remember when it gets escalated to the federal side and it usually is escalated um, from your state child support or your state's revenue department it's usually reported to federal after 180 days now you have the federal government as the debt collector coming after you that's usually when you see it on your credit report um they don't put federal government they usually put your state uh and that it'll say uh that revenue and it'll say for child support or whatever on your credit report because the federal government has now got involved. Um, but you go into a system called um, called CAVERS and CAVERS is what individuals use when they're trying to get you a mortgage. So if you don't pay your student loans, you can also be denied because uh, you're going to show up in the system negatively as owing a debt. So even if somebody gets creative and removes that debt from your credit report, which it is quite hard, I will say, even if they do a sweep, it is quite difficult to remove that um, that child support from uh, your credit report. But even if they do, you can still show in the caver system and you will still be denied for the loan. Also, if you um, have that reporting on your credit report and it's reporting positively, say that you... Um, uh, have now gotten into some type of arrangement and it's, and and they've updated it that you're paying, that debt now has to also be factored into your debt to income ratio. So this is another reason why you do not want it to uh, get past your state um, child support office if you can if you could you know stand it. You don't want to try to get six months or more behind because now you're going to cause. Um, more damage is sort of like a rock rolling down a hill and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and that's exactly what's happening the longer you wait so i'm not here to encourage anybody to pay their back child support i just want you to know what happens when you don't um so cavers they'll have you in the system um also let me state some people don't know this but uh, i think this actually should be something you guys demand but the federal law does not prohibit does not prohibit um your state a child support office, it doesn't prohibit them from reporting that you have been making. A lot of times they only report when you've missed it or you're behind, but they can also report when you're on time. And I do think that it is, if they could, if we could, uh, you know, probably not now with all this stuff going on, but if we could get, um, you know, a petition going around to force these child support um, agencies to start reporting when individuals do make on-time payments, it would absolutely encourage um, more people to, one, pay their child support and pay it on time. And it's a new trade line, so it boosts your credit. It actually um, has a, um, it gives you uh, um, credit history. It gives you, it shows your credit behavior. It does the same thing if you were to add um, your utility bill onto your credit. It does the same exact thing. The Experian Boost does it all the time right now with your electric, your cell phone. So why not add child support? That is definitely something that should be reported if it can be reported both positively and negatively. So that's just something to think about or to ask, ask or encourage someone in your um, child support office to get them to post it uh, or to um, submit the information. It does cost, but who cares? They take the time to pay that buddy um, to report on you negatively. So let's have the report on you positively. All right. So um, back to the federal um, child support. So pretty much you just don't want it to get that far. Another thing that a lot of people do not know is that the um, United States Code also states that in the Treasury Offset Program, 
the government can report to commercial credit bureaus, not just private. So I haven't seen that happen yet, but it doesn't mean that it cannot. So that's just something to keep in mind if you have not worked out something or some type of agreement. If you are a business owner, if you're trying to protect your credit, um, it doesn't really matter how many trade lines you add or what other uh, bills you pay good or on time showing revenue, Department of Revenue on your uh, credit report uh, as unpaid. It really does hurt whether it is paid in close, which is, would be charged off, or if it's active. Both um, show really negatively and you will limit yourself um, as far as you can grow, you'll limit your business credit, you'll limit your personal credit. You'll also limit your job um, limitations. If you are a, a, a federal contractor, you're not going to be able to get contracts owing child support, especially when it gets elevated to the federal level. So that's just something to um, think about. One thing that I forgot to mention is, and it's probably the most uh, important one when it comes to um, federal repercussions or consequences when it pertains to not paying uh, child support is you lose your right to get a passport. So if your child support arrears is $2,500 or more, um, your state will uh, automatically notify Health and Human Services, which notifies Department of State and they put it in a system that you are arrear so that they will not issue you a passport so that you cannot flee. <clears throat> And uh, what happens is you have to either be on some type of arrangement or pay it in full. It, it all depends on what is stated um, with the uh, with your child support um, department or revenue department, however they want to be repaid. But yes, you can also lose your right to have a passport. So again, this isn't about uh, getting anyone to pay their child support. I really just wanted you guys to know how child support ties into your credit, how it ties into your business and how it can affect your life personally and professionally. Um, so if you want to um, be in the clear and to make sure you can reach all the heights that you want to and reach all your goals and get as much money as you can, you gotta make sure that you tie up all loose ends and that would be one of them. So anyway, uh, I hope I taught you guys something new. Thank you for tuning in. Again, please like, subscribe, and share my videos and hit the notification bell. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.